So being in the regular industries from a traceability and tracking perspective that most of our customers are, lot tracking down to the specific lot used, where it was used, when it was used, and who it was used for becomes very important. And from a decom perspective, we have the ability to actually drill into the specifics of everywhere that that specific lot went. So we drill into our inventory reporting, down to our specific lot tracking reports, and then into a specific lot that we want to review. As I hit view here, this will then bring up all the specifics about this lot. Now, from a traceability perspective, we can start from the raw material up into the finished goods, or we can go from a finished good or intermediate product down to all the different materials that kind of went into making that product. So when we look at this particular list, this will give me a full traceability starting from the purchasing side of things. So what, when did it come in, who ordered it, and when? With a full drill down into the detail. So what I basically did was I drilled down into a purchase order where it's going to show me exactly what was ordered, when it was ordered, who placed the order, and then a full audit trail of everything that happened within that particular receipt. We can then look at any finished goods or intermediate products that came from that raw material. As we continue down, we'll start to see which items were shipped, so which finished goods were shipped out to specific customers. As we continue down even further, we'll see the additional things around adjustments that were made. So we need to know specific adjustments to either the raw material, the intermediate, or the finished good. And then finally, what we need to know from a traceability perspective is what is left on hand. So if we have an issue with a product, we wanna be able to pull that or quarantine that within our facility. So we can see the lot number of the raw material, but we also can see any intermediate or finished good products that kind of came from that particular lot. If we need to at any point send out a uh, correspondence to any of our customers for a true recall versus a mock recall, we can use the send email function, which will allow us to then notify those customers that receive that lot of this recall process.